Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo Gabriele and today I want to talk about Scala Native. What is Scala Native? What we can do with it? And how to create a project that works on every Scala platform? First of all, Scala has uh, three backends. One is the JVM backend, the first one that runs Scala code on the JVM, the Java Virtual Machine. Another one is the JS backend, Scala.js, that converts Scala code into JavaScript code to run it in the browser and on Node. Another one is Scala Native that works based on LLVM. What is Scala Native? It's an optimizing ahead of time compiler, different uh, from the just-in-time compiler inside the JVM that converts Scala code into a binary, a self-contained binary that has to be compiled in on every platform. So if you want a Linux binary, you have to create a Linux binary. If you want, a, a, for example, an, a Windows binary, you have to compile to create a Windows binary. At the moment, Windows is not support, but it will come in the future. So, first of all, I have to use SBT. I have to create a, a direct directory for my project. I have already a, a directory named crossed. It is, it is an empty directory. I will use a project called SBT cross project to create a Scala project that works on every Scala platform. You need to use some uh, SBT plugins and then you can define a project that works on JS platform, JVM platform and native platform. You can use different types of projects. So you can have a, a pure project that has an, a single code base that works on every platform, or you can have a project with a shared, shared directory that has some shared code that uh, is compiled on every platform, and then some directories with the platform-specific code, native directory, JVM and JS directory. So, first of all, let's create these um, files. So, I create the the. Um, I remove this whole directory dot metals. I create the project directory. Then I can launch Visual Studio Code for simplicity. I need a plugins.sbt file. Then I need to add the plugins. So there are newer versions of Scala.js and Scala Native. So I update them. Then I need to create a build.sbt file. Then I have to import sbt cross project types. Then I have to create a project. Let's see. File cross. Cross is the name of the project. It is, it is a cross project of JVM platform. JS platform and native platform. Okay. So I can choose the cross type, the cross type dot full, which is the one that has the shared directory, the JS native and JVM directory is the default one. So we will leave the default one. Then we, we can add, add some settings, shared one. So I create a, a, a val 
with shaded settings. For example, I can have shaded settings with the, the latest Scala version, 2.12.8. And we can have cross Scala versions equals to the, a sequence of two versions. I can, for clarity, I can create two valves. Scala 2.12 equals to 2.12.8 for the dry, dry principle. Scala 2.11, 2.11.12, that is the latest 2.11 version. So the default Scala version is Scala, the latest one, but I have two possible versions, point 0.12 and point 0.11. Then I can say that to use these settings, share settings, then I can have some platform specific settings. For example, native set native settings. I have to use Scala 2.11 because at the moment Scala native doesn't support uh, Scala 2.12. So I have to redefine this one. Point 0.11 and I have to remove Scala 2.12 from cross Scala versions. Then I can have some JS settings and some GVM settings. Okay. I think we have already. Okay. So then I can launch SBT. I have to create my cross directory that it's uh, as the uh, has to have the same name like this the cross project so i create a new folder cross inside that folder i have js gvm and native directory i can add the shared directory I'll I created a file, but I need a directory. So, new folder, shared. Okay. Inside that, that folder, I can have the source directory. Then, then, main, Scala. Then inside, I can have my Scala files. This one have to work in every platform because they are in the shared directory. So I could create an object main with a main method. String unit print line. Hello from cross project. Now we have our SBT project. We can run some a version cross. We have three different projects: cross JS, cross JVM, cross native. Cross JVM dot slash run. Now it compiles. And now we are running from JVM. If we do JS cross JS slash run, we are running, we are convert creating our JavaScript fi uh, file. Then we, we need uh, an option to run it. So we will add, we add it. Scala.js use main module initializer. 
equals to true then we need to reload our sbt project remember that sbt doesn't change the the option at runtime so we need to reload it so after creating uh, the js source directory inside the gs folder source main scala now magically it works i don't know why but i can run cross js slash run and having the print line printed by node the same i can do with native hopefully the native scala native uh, compile compile is uh, a little bit uh, slower because it has to link uh, a binary but then we have our print line we can say that we created a we created a binary looking inside the cross native target scala uh, 2.11 then we have this cross out which is a 2 megabytes and half file and we can run it directory the directly sorry it runs instantly because it have not to launch um, a JVM etc and we we can see that the same we can do the same with the JS file So with node, I can run the JS file. Now, having this set up, we can create some platform specific code. For example, we can have a, a platform object and we can do print line and hello from platform dot uh, name so in this case it doesn't work because we didn't define this object so we have to define the the platform object with the name val or def in every platform so we create it platform dot scala object platform file name name equals to in this case js js uppercase okay so we can copy that directory to the JVM folder. So JVM platform. Then we can do the same for native paste. Copy then paste. So we have cross slash native slash source main scala platform native. Now we have defined the platform object for every platform. So we can it should it should work, but it doesn't. So js slash I put the folder in the wrong directory. 
so probably instead of copying i cut it so copy paste okay js now i'm pretty sure that we have we have the platform object for every platform so js gvm native so i can run it okay hello from js so if i run jvm i have hello from jvm if i run native i have hello from native so uh, creating a native binary is a bit uh, slow so my suggestion is to create a cross project test the software in the shared directory try to abstract everything you can inside the shared directory so you can have shared tests that runs faster on jvm then at the end you can generate the, your native binary and you can run your tests inside the, the native platform so i have hello from native we can see that it's true cross native target scala cross cross out okay so you can test your code using scala test and uh, you test there are two libraries at the moment that cross compile on every platform we can use for example scala test so in the shared settings we're going to add library some shared library library dependencies plus plus equals to use a, sequen a sequence so i can use a sequence inside i have to put my scala test dependency so i use three percentage symbols because i have to cross compile it because we have one symbol from for java dependencies two symbols for for scala dependencies scala jvm and three symbols for cross compilation so it uh, gives the right dependency for every platform this way so scala test there is no released scala test version as stable but you we can use some snapshots so we use for example 3.1.0 snap 9 it should be the latest at the moment the latest latest scala test uh, that cross compiles then i can reload i need to add test to add the dependency only for testing and not for the published version of the software for example i can test now it is downloading the scala test for jvm so no tests were as executed because i have no tests but i can create a test directory inside for example inside the shared directory so shared source then i create a test directory then a scala directory then i can create my test for example example test scala example test extends extends 
fan suite, for example. Then I can have some test. My test assert true. Then I can run cross JVM slash test and my test runs but I can run the same test on JS. It downloads the Scala test uh, jars for Scala JS 0 0.6. So we can see that the test passed on JS and we can do the same on native. It downloads the we have some problems. Probably we have a bug on the native version because we put the test not inside the package. Let's try inside the package. So we have another problem. Cannot link uh, runtime object array. That's because we need uh, another setting. When you see this kind of errors, like cannot link something like Java lang thread, something you're not using because we're not using threads, you can solve it adding this setting native native links tabs equals to true if I remember correctly yes then it should work This linking, optimizing. Okay. When you need to create a fast binary for deployment, you need a setting inside SBT. On your native settings inside SBT build.sbt, native mode equals to a string there is there are two possible values at the moment release and debug debug is the is the default uh, setting so we can reload then running It uh, will take more time, but uh, it will create um, a faster ex executable. I hope I explained well enough how to create a cross project, how to publish your libraries for every Scala platform. So I th think that's uh, enough for this video. Bye bye and see you on, next, on the next video.